Hello, and welcome to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido. Patricia, the dogs, and I are about to embark upon our latest Grand Adventure through the desert of northern Arizona and southern Nevada. Our first night's camp, however, is still on the Utah side of the border in Valley of the Gods, near the famed western desert landscapes of Monument Valley. So buckle up and join us as we head south through the ever-changing vistas of Utah. Last night we rolled into the Valley of the Gods right around sunset or a little bit thereafter. Light was fading quickly, but boy did we get a spot. I mean seriously, when you look at this place, it is spectacular. Got up this morning before sunrise, actually watched a meteor shoot across the sky. Absolutely unbelievable. Just gorgeous and sunny today, hardly a cloud in the sky. Uh, temperatures are in the probably in the high 60s, low 70s right now. It got down into the mid 40s last night. Uh, the girls have been having a great time just running around like idiots. Um, and uh, let me show you around a little bit, huh?
In a moment, we're going to get ready to break camp and hit the road again. Um, unfortunately, this was just a one-nighter for us because we have a lot of driving to do this trip. Um, by the time we get to Flagstaff in Sedona, uh, we'll actually be settling down for a few days. But for today, we're going to drive through Monument Valley to Navajo National Monument. Come along. We tried to go to Monument Valley, got to the entrance gate, ready to pay our fee, and found out that they wouldn't let us pull a trailer through the valley. So, we had two options, drop the trailer or skip it. It's about quarter past two in the afternoon, got about 50 miles to go to camp tonight, and I'm not dropping the trailer. Sorry Monument Valley, we saw your outskirts, but I'm not going to see the inside this time. Well, we made it to Navajo National Monument, which is a rare overnight in a campground for us. It was a necessity because the monument is a tiny outpost of National Park Service land surrounded by a whole lot of Navajo Nation, where you need a backcountry permit and a Navajo guide to boondock. Sites in the monument's sunset view campground are dry and tiny, but the campground was less than half full, so we had plenty of space. Patricia and I took a sunset walk with the dogs to overlook the Batatican cliff-dwelling ruins and then settled in after dinner for a good night's sleep. Join us next time in Flagstaff in Sedona, Arizona by clicking on the subscribe link below or right here in the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure.